If you stay in one area a couple of years, we know how much things we collect. Excuse me. How much things we accumulate. Because we accumulate that because we can't give it away. There are people who I was told collect, 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 fills up, fills up, fills up everything. And then your house becomes like a tiny little passage that comes through the door to your bedroom, to your bed, and then goes out. Otherwise, all fills up with things. You still can't let it go. And people have that. You know. I know. We all know. There are a number of people who do this. Ourselves may not be one. But still, we can, We have a very difficult to let it go. Thinking, ah, this will be useful in about, this will be useful for me. When? How many times? Maybe once in 10 years. Maybe. So you can't let it go. So that's not the value of the thing. This is the the the, the sticky stuff that is touched, that stickiness will not letting it go. The, the, the glue sticking here is it will have a use. If you have a lot of use, you need it every other week, every other month, or maybe two, three times a year, yeah, of course you can keep it. But maybe I need a ten, once in ten years. Maybe once a year. But you do give Christmas decorations because we need them once a year. I don't mean throw that out. But, so letting it go is very important. If you cannot let it go, you will have a lot of a problem. A lot of our sticky, the things get stick to us. And actually, I'm talking about completely opposite. The sticky is a Tibetan culture. When it's sticky means person who steals things. You know, they have a glue in the finger, touch it, somebody else's property, and stick to that. But I'm using it other way around here, over that, so not letting it go. So, but you really need it, let it go. I learn that easy way. Sort of, sort of, the the vegetables that getting a yellow in your fridge, give that away. The vegetable, the butter becoming a blue in your fridge, I give that away. When I said butter, blue butter and the yellow vegetable, many people don't like it. Uh, but, 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 but you know that is the easy way to give it. Learn from there, and then give better ones. Then give you a love tonight's dinner way, and that is how these are easy way to learn. And then give more difficult ones more precious ones, and uh, then parts of the body even, a part of your eyeball even, and many bodhisattva ones have done that. And it is very common, there are a lot of stories about it also. These are the truth. So part of, you know, even, even you have to cut your flesh from your body, you shouldn't have any hesitation, that much generosity, and that much willingness 
of a giveaway. And we can't do that right now. I'm not telling us we do it now. We can't do it now, but we can pray that I may be able to do that. We can pray. We hope you'll be able to do it. Generosity development is a gradually developed, gradually developed. So when it's very gradual, so you do it gradually yourself. And also you shouldn't give the wrong thing. The generosity of not only generosity, but generosity should have its own morality. Morality is an important. Even generosity must have morality. So like you don't want to give the wrong. Now for example, you should not give me sugar because I'm diabetic. Brutal diabetic. Don't give me sugar. If you give me sugar, I'll enjoy, I'll eat it. But however, that is not good gift. It becomes, it has no morality of generosity because you are giving to somebody something that harming the individual. Like person who are addicted to drugs, so you give them a drug. But you cannot, that is the morally wrong. However, if that person is dying without it, if you are saving a life of that person, like a, such a strong withdrawal symptoms, so if it's like that, then drugs should be given to save the life. So that becomes the wisdom aspects of it. Wisdom of the generosity should know what should give, what should not give. Generally, you don't give drugs to the addicted person. However, it's a life depending on that at the dying, you should have a wisdom enough to be able to give. So the generosity alone have all these six perfections. There should be patience too. You, not because you are giving it, or you are giving it, throw it away. Like it or not, take it or not. That is not way of generosity. Generosity really should have very patience respectfully. People must have respect to the people. Maybe you are giving to most poorest person, poor of the poor, most dirty of the dirty, most filthy of the filthy, but you must have respect. And after all, that is another human being. So even you don't have that much respect from the individual point of view, but from the humanitarian point of view, we must respect. So the, as a, a Mahayana practitioner, as a Bodhisattva, as a person who is practicing generosity, must have patience to be able to wait for that person and have a respect. It's not you're feeding a, some hungry dog or something, but honestly, that is patience. Also, you need enthusiasm. So whatever you're going to give it, happy to be given, very enthusiastic, making sure that whatever you're going to give, that's going to be useful, helpful to that person. So you must be excited to give it. 
sort of not too minded. Should I, should I not? Well, I'd like to, but not today, uh, because I, I need to sleep or something, you know. And that's not right. And when the person needed, and at that time, very enthusiastically giving, because that will be useful and helpful, and you will be excited to give, they will be excited to receive. Not only that, you have to focus, focus, concentrate. If you are unable to focus what you give, and then that's not that great. Uh, that's not great. And probably sometimes you give the wrong thing too, too, because you don't focused, focused. So you're probably giving a piece of uh, a meat to a vegetarian, and that is not right, and that is unfocused person. You are not thinking, you are not focusing, and uh, or you give him. You know, there are so many things can go wrong. So, so making sure you are focused. The purpose of the focus is the right thing to be giving to the right person, because it be useful, helpful. A person who had no idea about the, let's say, Chinese porcelain art. So some kind of, and you give like a 17th century cup for a very expensive to the wrong person. That person will have no idea what to do with it. Probably picking up a couple of, couple of waters and drinking it, breaking. So it's all wasted. So if you are trying to focus, that can happen. So if that happens, it is lost, lost to the art in the world, coming humanitarians, and are useless for that person who have no idea what it is, what it is, right? So, so focus. Not only focus, but also need wisdom. I did mention wisdom a little bit of earlier. So all combined together. So generosity. The most important you remember going home <coughs> will be should be able to give everything, whatever you have, whatever they demand. Should be able to share and give and making sure give that useful thing to the right person, right? Without six perfections combined together. If you do that, your generosity will be great. Generosity. Generosity is the cause to become perfect and to have endless, exhaustionless wealth. Thank you.